Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will show you how to set up your Redmi Note 9. Before you can enjoy all the features of your Android phone, you will have to set it up properly. And for the Redmi Note 9, here's how you do it. First of all, turn your phone on. If it's the first boot out of the box or after a reset, it will immediately bring you to the setup page. You will be asked to choose the language your phone will use, so choose the appropriate language. In this tutorial, we will use US English. Once you're finished choosing the correct language, tap the small arrow to the right. Now choose the region where you will be using the phone. If the device is sold in the Philippines, then your region will automatically be selected by the system. But you can change it to other regions if necessary. Tap the small arrow to the right to proceed. On the next screen, you will be prompted to connect to a network. If you're currently in range of your Wi-Fi network, then connect to it. Once you're finished connecting, tap Next. On the next screen, agree to the user agreement and privacy policy, and then tap Next. If you want to insert the SIM card, you may do so. But you can continue with the setup without inserting it yet, and that's what we're going to do. You can insert the SIM card later. Your phone will then check for available updates. It will take several minutes to complete. After that, you will be prompted if you want to copy apps and data from your other Android phone. In this tutorial, we will choose Don't Copy. After checking some information, you will be brought to the screen where you need to enter your Google account. You're going to need to set up your account so that you can download and install apps from the Play Store. So enter your Google ID and tap Next. Now enter your password. If you've set up the two-step verification, then follow on-screen instructions to verify your account. After you've successfully logged in, follow on-screen instructions again to continue with the Google account setup. Once Google is successfully set up on your phone, you will be prompted to log into your My Account. Let's just skip that one as you can do that in settings later. The final step is for you to choose a theme. So select one that best suits your style. And that's pretty much it. We hope that this tutorial can help you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you enable the notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching.